Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video. In this week's video, what we're going to do is we're going to switch out the character model in the ALS uh, system, uh, the Advanced Locomotion System. Um, if you've been following along in the last couple of weeks, then you've also got the crosshair on the screen and you'll have the line trace for a rifle. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. As you can see, we've got the Gothic Knight running around just as you would expect this um, locomotion pack to, to work. Uh, the Ragdoll works. The rolling works basically everything that would normally work works as expected um, and it's actually really straightforward to get this swapped out um, you're not limited to the gothic knight um, but I'll get into that in just a minute um, as you can see we quickly just switch that out for um, one of the other guys uh, or one of the other packs meshes played and as you can see we've switched that character out straight away just like that real simple let's get into it and I'll talk about it a bit more okay so here we are in the in the editor uh, now before we actually want to continue we need to get need to get a character model for us to use uh, to replace this model um, so let's head over to the epic games launcher uh, and then with the unreal selected and you go to your library if you like me and you've been using unreal for for a while um, in your library you've probably got tons of assets that you can use um, I filtered it here to character, which you can do by going to category. Um, by default, all is ticked, which ticks everything for you. Just click all, it'll untick everything and click on characters. Now, you can use most humanoid characters. Now, I say humanoid because you can't really use a dragon in this, uh, in this me method. Um, and obviously, stuff like cats and dogs, you probably can't use. Essentially, the stylized character, the gothic knight, and then the female characters, I know for sure, they're the skeleton which makes these characters work is based on the uh, Unreal standard uh, skeleton. There's like a, a standard naming convention where each bone is, is given a specific name to fit uh, into all other character models. Um, so I know, I know that the stylized character kit it follows this naming convention so that's the one that i'm going to use and also i've also downloaded it in the past so um why not so what i'm going to do uh, with my character so with, with this character model um kit i'm just going to add it to my project um which is this one oh i pressed don't add that project um that's telling me it already exists because um i've just i've just gone through this before and um I'm just I'm just overwriting it. So once you've added that kit or model to your game, um, what we need to do now is you'll see here in my content folder I've got this SCK Casual, and that's the kit that I've just imported. Um, this is really really simple. We're going to go into that folder. Uh, we're going to find the models. Um, now. This model's obviously got some bits and pieces which uh, you, uh, you can swap out. See, so the upper body and the lower body are all swappable. But there's some pre-made full full characters which you're more likely to find assets for on the on the marketplace, being whole characters like this. I like the look of this guy. Um, I probably shouldn't have opened that in your. Oh, there you go. It loaded straight away anyway. Um, I like the look of this guy. Um, it looks quite sporty. To be fair, it looks quite Fortnite-y, which is fine. But I think I think he will fit holding a weapon uh, quite nicely. Um, other than the other option that I had of the Gothic Knight, don't think it quite suits having a an automatic rifle. Uh, anyway, sorry. Back to the content folder. So once you found the model that you need, uh, and making sure that it is the uh, skeletal mesh. You can see there at the top of the title, it says mesh underscore PC underscore or free. And that is a skeletal mesh. Um, with that being said, you want to right click. Uh, and this is super simple. Under skeleton, uh, you want to um, assign skeleton. And then because it follows the same naming convention or the bone convention as um, the UE4 standard, you can see here that the ALS mannequin um, is an option. We're going to select that. And you can see here that the currently selected and the target bones, they match typically all the way down. Once you're happy with that, press accept. Um, and now essentially this mesh can be assigned correctly to our character. So with that being said, we're going to go back to the all folder, go to our content, 
go to our ADV um, locomotion folder, blueprints, character logic. Now, if you followed the previous series that I've made where we had a line trace and a crosser to the screen, you should also, or you may have made this uh, shooter BP or just a, your own player character. It's a child of the original. Um, open that up. And then essentially on the left hand side, it's as simple as this. The actual, the actual player character that you see currently is just the regular old mesh. Now, the, um, the, the people who made the advanced locomotion system have also set up a secondary mesh um, to be used for visuals, which is where we're going to use it. Um, so what we're going to do with the body mesh selected on the right hand side, you'll see the skeletal mesh is currently set to none. We're just going to click on this menu and scroll down until we find the guy that we have just assigned. Now, if you followed my steps exactly, uh, it should be obvious because your character will have a star, meaning that it's not been saved yet. Because assigning the skeleton earlier, uh, we actually did make a change. Um, so that's that's possibly an easy way to indicate which one is the right one. If you've got a different pack and there's, uh, there's multiple variations, uh, the star might just help you out. Um, Give that a select and you can see now that the new mesh is currently over the top of the old mesh. Uh, so all we need to do is we just need to go to the original mesh, which is the um, original original mesh, I guess. Um, and in the search, you don't have to use a search, you can scroll down, but it's easier to search. In the search bar, we're just going to type in vis for visibility. And under the rendering, you'll see visible. Untick that and you'll notice the original model disappears, leaving the uh, new model that you've imported and you can see that the animation is already synced up because essentially it's just a body double for the original character and that's really it so now you can press compile and save uh, you can press play in the game and your model should work exactly how you'd expect it to so we can roll we can jump we can ragdoll get up uh, we can get our hands tied you have a pistol um, again if you followed along with the previous videos you'll have a line trace in there which follows the crosshair uh, so you can shoot everything works as it should and then if you jump onto a wall the mantle works and that is pretty much it um, you should be able to do this with every model which follows like I said the UE4 born system um, just to make that a little bit more uh, just to talk about that a little bit more let me go into the casual folder you can see here that they've got a mannequin, a character, a mesh, and then here the UE4 skeleton. This is the original UE4 character, um, and you can see here on the left hand side in the skeleton uh, that it's got pinky, index, hand L, lower arm L, uh, and this is like the basic um, hierarchy for um, or the skeleton this is this is the naming convention for each bone so now if i go to back to the content folder and go back to the sk casual um and then go to their models and i think it might be under pre-made no. yeah let's just open this one up again so this is the model that we picked uh, and you can see here already on the left that it's got all the same names you know we've got pinky um hand l lower arm l and because it follows the same naming convention, this just works straight away without having to tweak anything. And you can just right click and assign skeleton and it's that simple. If it's quick and easy, what I'll just do here, I'll add the Gothic Knight to our project as well. And I'll just, I'll just reiterate that. Um, oh, is this one not available for? Oh, okay. That says it's not compatible with, um, with version five. Let's just try this. Let's go to show all projects um, and let's just try and force it in there. Yeah, it's not compatible. We'll do 4.27. Add to project. Uh, what I've just done there is I've actually forced um, a non-compatible asset um, into, a, into a newer version. Um, I have made a video on that previously, but it's, just, it's as simple as that. Um, I can't guarantee that everything will work 100% smoothly with this character now. I thought that this character would have been um, compatible with 5. Let's just see if it works. The chances are that 
most things will work. It's just that they have probably not been tested completely in Unreal 5, so therefore they don't say that it is compatible, but there's a good chance that everything will work. So in the GD night, I'm going to look for the meshes and I'm going to find which is my favorite night. Have a look at this one. I think it might be the VD. Okay. Uh, so, okay, I knew the shaders were going to compile. This is what I was worried about at the beginning with the other character. Okay, so I don't actually know. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to use this while the, uh, while the meshes, uh, the shaders prepare. Content draw, I'm going to right click, skeleton, assign skeleton, ALS mannequin, accept. I'm then going to go back to my content folder, go to the advanced locomotion, blueprints, character logic, go to my shooter BP, which I should have left open. I'm going to go back to the body mesh. I'm going to go over here to the right hand side, and now I'm going to look for my gothic knight. I think it was VB. There we are. And again, because I've changed it, it's now got a star next to it or an asterisk, just saying that it's not been saved yet. I'm going to select that. Go back to my viewport. I can see that that's loaded in there now. Hit compile. Hit play. Let's test this out. So some of the meshes haven't loaded in, so he's going to look a little bit funny. But as we can see, he sprints, falls over. A little bit like. I do apologize. I don't know if this is just. Um, glitching because of the compiler or because uh, or what so I do apologize this will look a little bit choppy on the video but um, okay that's that's not very pleasant to look at but <laughs> as, as the assets load in here you can see that most things will work he can mantle I can see his assets updating as we're as we're playing here um, so yeah that's really ugly to look at but as you can see even though it wasn't compatible, this is loaded in as well. And that is pretty much it for this video. This week was a little bit shorter because I am a bit stretched for time. Um, I, I've been very busy this week. But nonetheless, I, I hope this was of, of some use to you all. Um, I'd like to mention that my Discord servers are more functional now. I've, got so, I've put some rooms in there for the time being. I just need to get some people in there so we can start chatting. Um, if you've got any questions about the videos that I make, feel free to leave a comment or also contact me in the Discord. That is, that's what it's there for. Um, I have Discord on my phone, so there's a good chance that I can reply most of the time. Um, also, I have started streaming on Twitch a little bit more often now. I'm not going to say it's regular, but it's it's. Um, I'm trying to get on there as, as much as I find the time to. It's typically 8pm GMT. Um which might be like a bit earlier for people in America, but that, that's really the, the best that I can do uh, with the time zone, um, just to try and cater for the most people as possible. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like watching this type of content, consider subscribing. I make videos every week. And that's enough talking from me. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video.